Hi guys. Um, so I'm just going to tie a medium olive hair's ear fly with a hotspot and a cochlean tail. Um, fly I've been kind of doing over the winter. Um, that I got the partner for. So we just start here. Run you through it. So the hook I'm using is a Duhaku hook. Um, they're from the UK, but in Ireland there's a few people selling them. The main uh, ambassador for the Haku in Ireland at the moment is Peter Driver. Um, so this is a size 14 jig hook that I'm using with a 3 mil black countersunk bead. Um, I don't have any slot beads at the moment, so I'm just using counter. I don't find much. Uh, Difference in you. So I have my Kevlar tread, which is very durable and uh, useful in tying nymphs. So I'll just tie it down to the bend of the hook. I have my cochlean fibers. And we'll just take a pinch of them. So you want them about the length of the shank of the hook. So from here to here, uh, roughly what you think looks right. But so what we do then is just tie off our waist down. I just leave a little bit for a taper. do then is I'll get my hens gold wire it's a 0.18 in diameter um, and we'll use that for the rib so as I said before you can pull into the back of the bead and wind your way up which is a good way of bulking the body if you need to on certain limbs also secure. Now we can just tie the tip in beside the tail fibers and it does the same job. What I do just there is lift the tail fibers and the rib and just tie them in equally and up beside each other. Next we have our trout line um, square dublin and as mentioned there it's a yellow uh, colour according to them. Now squirrel is a very durable uh, material compared to hairs, it's a lot stronger um, so what I like to use is a little bit of wax on my thread and bit by bit we work the dubbing of the body. So you just rub on your dubbing and bring it up to the base of the hook. So I'll just one turn covering any thread that's in around your tails and your rib and slowly working your double up the body and if you need them so I I find them what we should all be doing in well depending on the fly is working your body up in card shape here to where the tail is up the body you want a nice tapered card shape in your dubbing and you just want to work that up behind the back of the bead bit by bit now you can put in that and work your way up and I just like to go bit by bit to make sure I just have it that right nice taper so once you're happy with that you just grab your rib anti-clockwise coming up the body in a couple of wraps like so and then your last one in behind the bead now little trick that you don't know is you can normally hold the rib up 
pry it off and do that two or three times. I find as you wrap the rib around the tread and then pull the tread up and give it two or three turns, it secures it all. And just clockwise, anti-clockwise, uh, in circles. You can spin off your um, your gold wire, your rib. So next, I for the hotspot, I like to use it's uh, number 46 Orange Floss by Tommy Fly. Tommy Fly is based in the Czech Republic. They do some, they do some great um, flosses, especially these. I love the colours of them and the thickness of the UV light on them and the brightness under the UV light. So simply I just like to lick that and just dampen that at the end so there's no t fibres going missing when you're tying it in. Two or three turns, use your whip finish then and tie off your main tread. Now if you have a second bobbin holder and you want to you can put your floss on it and tie it on separate like that. I just like to use a little piece at a time or um, tie off a piece of the floss and just tie it in uh, without using a second bobbin holder. It's just something you used to. So what I do then is I've done one with finished there as you've seen. I just give it a second. And I'm happy with the two. So what I do then is make sure it's nice and secure, tie it off. With my Sally Hansen uh, clear nail varnish. Um, I have plenty of UV or plenty of nail or fly varnishes there. I just find the Sally Hansen very easy and effective to use and uh, it dries fast. Um, so that's it more or less dry there now. So all that's left on the fly before it's fully finished is to tease out the dubbing material. So what I like to do is put my finger along the back of the hook or along one side and on the other brushing up or down or back towards the bead instead of down the hook. So we brush down and we brush up and we brush back towards the bead. Doing this on the same on the other side. Pulling all the trying to catch as much dubbing and pull it out between the ribs. So what we do then is simply one or two nice easy turns, a few turn, um, brushes just down the hook, bringing those pull fibers into its rightful place. And there you have your hair's ear nymph. Thanks very much.